Parents, listen up. The USDA recently announced new guidelines for food allergies and feeding. And here to break them all down is board certified pediatrician, Dr. Wendy Sue Swanson. Welcome to the show, Doc. Hey, thanks for having me. So nice to have you here. So what do parents need to know about these new guidelines? Well, bottom line, you know, we turned things upside down, and I think we've left families confused. The USDA has set guidelines for the next five years, and what they're saying is, instead of holding off on foods, we want you to feed your baby everything. That means not just peanut early, but peanut, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, soy, sesame, egg, all of it. And we want you to do that right when you start feeding your baby solid foods around four to six months of age. So when should parents begin introducing solid foods to their babies? Well, that's not, there's no perfect day. It's really up to how does your baby show you signs of readiness? So they look interested in food. They show developmental readiness with their head being upright, able to almost sit upright on mom's kind of lap or dad's lap. And then when you're ready, and really there's no perfect first food, it's somewhere between four to six months. Okay. So once baby, you know, you, baby's on a liquid diet when they're born, by the time they're about 12 months of age, it's a solid diet. And how you get there can be any meandering road. But the one thing we know now is that you don't want to go slow. In fact, we're now even starting to say things like 100 new foods in 100 days. We want parents to feel comfortable and free to feed their baby whatever they want, but get those common allergens in early and keep them in so that the immune system can learn as baby's growing up, so is the immune system. And so that repeated exposure in the tummy is really important. It really is important. And, and tell us, Doc, why should parents be proactive about introducing allergens in general to their kids? Well, food allergies are a real problem. 8% of United States children have a food allergy. And put that in perspective, 6 million kids, but that's two in every classroom. So what we know for the first time in the last five years is that how we feed our babies in early life can change the risk. So for example, a study out of Canada called the Child Study evaluated well kids, not even kids at risk, but if moms waited until 12 months to feed their baby peanut, a child's risk went up fourfold. If a mom waited till 18 months of age to feed their baby peanut, the risk went up sevenfold. So, you know, the early introduction is not the risk, delay is the risk. And the other thing is, it's not just about that first feeding. You know, we're as pediatricians around the country really thinking of, okay, get families to start at that six month mark, for example, but it's not just that first feeding. In fact, we know that it takes repeated months to years of really good diverse diet to really create that data that shows that early and often feeding is preventative or protective against the development of allergies. Can you run through the techniques parents can use to prevent their kids from developing allergies that may become a lifelong struggle. That's right. So think about dirt. That's your first one. Let your baby out of the house. I mean, more than anything during this pandemic, as we start to get fully vaccinated, get outside the house and play around. Get them exposed to all those different things. Drool is the other one. That's what we're talking about pets and animals. Let those things in. They bring in all sorts of diversity into the house. Avoid dry skin, that's the third one. We know that eczema is the number one risk factor. Work with your pediatrician or family doc to make sure you've got really good emollients or creams and barriers on your child's skin. Vitamin D, so we recommend all infants get 400 international units of vitamin D. Mom can put drops on, give it directly to baby every day, and then the big one, the biggest one is that diet diversity. Don't be scared of foods. Enjoy all the amazing foods your family love. Get them in early, right Right at four to six months when you start solids, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, shellfish, all those different foods. And then your job is to keep them in. The more diverse a diet all throughout infancy and toddlerhood, the less likely you'll ever have food allergies. Love it. Great information. Uh, this has been a big turnaround and I'm glad to see that uh, big change is coming. I think it's going to help so many kids and parents at the same time. Great information, Doc. Thanks so much. For more information on the most up-to-date allergy guidelines, go to our website at thedoctorstv.com.